How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six Killer and welcome to a new game we're going to be doing a series on called The Sexy Brutale. Now this came out a couple of weeks ago or something. This is why I stopped Torment, because I needed space to put up new things. And we'll probably come back to Torment a little bit later. But for now we're playing this. This is... It, I played the first uh, stage, or whatever, t tutorial -y area. And it evokes a lot of memories of Shadows of Destiny or Shadows of Memories. If you guys remember that one, where you start off dead and you have to uh, prevent your own death and stuff like that. It goes really weird in Japanese later, but that's the basics of it. This one you're preventing other murders, so we're going to start a brand new game because it's really hard. Really hard. Tutorial level's pretty easy. The Marquis is the enigmatic owner and creator of the Sexy Brutale Casino Mansion. Every year he throws an extravagant masked ball for a select group of, sorry, his impeccably trained staff cater to their every desire, but this year something is terribly, terribly wrong. The guests aren't getting what they want at all. But you can find that out for yourself. Lufcado Bone. After all, you have all the time in the world. Boon? Bone. <laughs> It doesn't give you a lot of time to read all that, realistically. Holy balls. There's not a lot of dialogue though. It's mainly inventory puzzles. Time to move on, old man. Hey, my face is on fire. Never take your mask off. It will give you a chance. Just a chance. You are not weak, and I will help you. But he, he is so, so strong. Alright, let's get up. And the art style though, look at it, it's fucking awesome. It's so good to look at. I say that about so much stuff, but it really is. So yeah, this is the tutorial. It's gonna tell us what to do, effectively. So it's like Shadow of Memories mixed with, like, Hitman stealth stuff. What was that? Calm down, Reggie. They won't look for you here. Probably. Bye, Reggie. Alright, here we go. Let's follow that bastard. Even though he's the one who's going to be murdered. He's the one we're trying to save. Rifling through the safe and shit. Wait, where is it? This is just garbage. It locks garbage in the safe. I don't want to look through that keyhole. Lucas, what have you done? I'm terribly sorry, sir. What? No! No, you can't. Please. You don't know what's going to happen. Ah, now there I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. Boom. Get shrieked. We can't see who it is. What will happen is that I'm going to shoot you messily in the chest. And then have a bastard of a time getting the stain out of the stonework. Excellent. Alright, let's get up. Get back to it. Now, like I said, I've done this before, do I? So I do know how to solve this one. But the next one, holy crap, Ola. I played it for 20 minutes or something, and I didn't finish it. So, yeah, it looks pretty hard. It's pretty hard. Let's have a look. 
Gun. Gun plus man equals dead. Ha! Huh, it is still loaded. Let's see if this works. I guess there's always plan B if it doesn't. Jeez, I hate to think what plan B is. Go through the door. Spy through the keyhole. I'm terribly sorry, sir. What? No, you can't, please. You don't know what's going to happen. Ah, now there I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. Sorry, I read this already, so I'm preemptive again. I'm going to shoot you in the chest messily. <laughs> and then have a bastard of a time getting the stain out of the stonework. <laughs> Alright, it's go time. Run! Be calm. You were not seen. He is not chasing you. Look back through the door. Where the hell is Seven Clubs? He can bloody well come and help me with the body. I'm not lifting it on my own. He did not see you. He will not chase you. No one in this mansion will. That was my gift when I touched your mask. It will protect you, but only for a short time. The staff are murderers here. The guests are victims. But they are all controlled, dominated, by the masks they wear. I have one more gift for you. This pocket watch is... important. I took it from the man you saw murdered. If you can return it to Sixpence, you'll be able to unlock its full potential. But first, you'll have to save him. I have to go. You will find me if I stay. But you're made out of blood, lady. How much damage can he possibly do to you? Use the pocket watch to restart the day from 12pm. The pocket watch is partially smashed and resets at 5pm. If you can find some way or someone to repair it, you'll gain more control over time. Here you'll see the current guest or guests you're trying to save. Time rewinds. Alright, so we're going to solve this one nice and quick because I do know how to do it. Then the next one is going to be an absolute bitch which I've never actually solved. Never figured out. Alright, here we go. So first we're going to head this way. The map. As you explore the sexy brutal, your map will be built up with the rooms you have discovered. Time scrubber. The movement of characters you have seen will be added to the map. You can adjust the time shown on the map by using the time scrubber. Oh, look at that. So this here. Is this the time scrubber? It is. Cool. That's pretty handy. The chair is old but flawlessly crafted. A bible is on the table nearby. The fire is roaring and its intensity causes your heart to race. Several books on card sharping, including a signed first edition by Clay Rockridge. Here we go. My word, this room is ominous! Aha! Grayson, you reprobate! You'd better be right. Haha! <laughs> it's a bingo! Man, some of that text is hard to keep up with. Holy crap. Wait, where is it? This is just garbage. Who locks garbage in a safe? Go. Alright, so we want the blank cartridge. The contents of the safe are scattered all over. There's nothing valuable to be seen in this mess. The sword on the wall is tall as a man and it looks razor sharp. Right, this way. Let's go. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. The blank cartridge slides in easily. The blank will be the next shot. Ah! 
I'm terribly sorry, sir. What? No, no, you can't, please. You don't know what's going to happen. I know, there I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. That's much easier if you have to read it over and over again. <laughs> Way easier. What the hell? What is wrong with this blasted thing? A blank for f There better be a second round in here. Otherwise it'd be plan B for you, I'm afraid. Ah, that's got it. Here we go. You coward. Coward. Ha! Golden duck. Cracking job. This feels very different. Am I wearing this mask still? Ah, so much better. Good lord. Lufcardio. Hello. Where are we? Do you know? And wait, is that my pocket watch? I have the strangest feeling I've been looking all over for this. You've done quite a number on it. There. That should see you right. All fixed. Now, I think we should get back to the party. Use the pocket watch on any ticking clock. This will save your game and set that clock as your starting point for each day. With the watch repaired, the full day is now over to you. Ha! Huh. Someone's gonna have a slight tipple on the job. Good show, sleep it off that man. <laughs> Everyone around here is so, so undeniably British. Hi. Take his mask. You will need its power. Ah, my face. Reginald's Clock Mastery. With Sixpence's mask, you can now create a bond with the clocks around the house. With any active clock in the mansion to jump from 4p to 4pm or 8pm. You save Reginald's life. He was the personal clockmaker to the owner of this mansion, the Marquis. Well, he was more than that, but... The important thing is that the clocks in the mansion are, turned to, are tuned to him. Now you have his mask, his power. They will respond to you. You have to go. Quickly. Even now, the mansion is straining to undo what you have done. But you can fight back, saving one life at a time. The day will start again. I pray that Sixpence's power will free you from these rooms. If you are lost... Find me in the casino. I will look for you by the clock. There are so many more guests here who need your help. And back we go. Okay, that is the extent of my knowledge of the game. This next bit is a bitch. <laughs> There's a lot of place to explore in the next one. Like, the place is fucking huge. So we probably won't solve this one in this episode, but we'll get some stuff done if we can. The Marquis invites you to tonight's show, 7pm in the theatre. You know, it stays like this, I wish I were less competent. Then maybe I wouldn't get the tricky jobs. Now well, let's roll. The Sexy Brutal. Find the casino. Let's do that then. This one the casino? It is. Well that was easy. Okay, we got cameras over here. Boon, oh thank god. I wasn't sure. I didn't know if you'd even be able to leave the chapel. But you can, we have a chance. This is the casino, the front and center of the sexy brutal. The guests here are Trinity and Clay. There are more, but you cannot reach them, yet. 
You have time to watch and learn. You must save them both together. You save Reginald and his mask has given you power over his clocks. They have all stopped, but if you can wind them, they'll be very useful to you. I found this key for this area. This is all I can do for now. Winding keys. Stop clocks in the mansion each near a specific key to be wound up. Using the matching key on the clock to wind up the clock. Winding a clock reveals a map for the area and allows you to make that clock your starting point each day. Use the winding key. I will find you when I can, Boone. Save Clay. Save Trinity. I will try, but no promises. Definitely no promises. Clay Rockridge, the brute in a suit. Trinity Carrington, the moth by moonlight. That guy looks like Strongbeard. <laughs> Strongbeard! Alright, let's wind this clock, shall we? Whoa. That's badass. Anything else we can do with it? Not really. The leather of the chairs is so soft, it's like gently warm butter. Now the advantage of the game is that you can restart the day as many times as you want, so... There's no harm in failing. If you fuck it up, it doesn't really matter. You can just come back and have another go. And you'll know a little bit more about it the next time. Okay, there's someone in there. I don't really want to go in there then. What about this? I assume I don't have a code for that. This door has a complex security code panel. It will not open without the right casino security code. Yeah, I figured as much. Asshole. Okay. That has another door like that in there. Shit. Casino. And a person coming. Run. Alright, let's roll. Alright, where are we? What are we doing? Okay, we're good. Let's go. Not in there. Not right now. So we just gotta fill out our map really at the moment. This still looks fine. Ah, I see, that's where he's playing. The camera feed is now being shown on the main casino screen. The security monitor there has been switched to show footage from the mood setting film intended for the gambling hall. A one-way mirror looks into the gambling hall. A large screen is showing footage from the CCTV feed. Bloody hell, Reggie. Bloody hell. A small seating area looks out into the casino. A one-way mirror? It's a keycode for the CCTV panels. Oh, sweet. That's on my map. Hang on, let's just check our map. Okay, so what does this big exclamation mark mean? Is that where we're going, I assume? So we know where Reggie is. No, not Reggie. What's this guy's name? I've forgotten. Fuck, I've forgotten. Clay. Clay Rockridge. That's right. We got pins. Show hide knowledge. Ah, oh, okay, so that's where the CT CCTV panels are. Alright, let's go hit those, I guess. I'm not sure what they do, or how they're going to help, but it's definitely worth checking it out. Oh, someone just got shot. Camera 2 switched off. Well, balls. There's someone in there. Oh, what's this? The Ace of Clubs. What do I need that for? What is going on out there? Sounds like someone's been killed already. Which is not boding well. Turn off camera one. Can we turn back time with this? Well, I mean, we know that information now, so... I guess next time... Old-fashioned vinyl record player. So we got a vinyl now. And the Jack of Spades. Is that just a collectible or what? What do we got here? If we got the uh, code for the CCTV, if we go back in time, do we get to keep it? Ow. Okay, we're not going in there. 
Something very cold and solid is blocking my way. Alright, let's open the map. This is the only one we haven't turned off now, but there was people in there. That's through this door. And this door. There you go. We can turn this camera off. Where is the lady? CCTV camera 3 isn't in the room. Okay. Hey, the screen! That looks like... Trinity? Trin! Trinity! What the hell? Trinity! Where is she? Trinity, I'm coming! A terrible run of luck, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Grim Reaper. Of cards. Yeah, we did something. Oh man, now I just feel like they're both gonna get killed by the giant spider. Oh god, easy now. Whoa, whoa, I've got you. Play. Play, thank god. Let's get you up. Who's that? Did we just fucking solve this one? I feel like we probably didn't. What was the vinyl for if we did? Oh, Clay, I have to get this mask off. Huh! Jesus Christ, did we do it? I don't know what happened. What a fright! Boone! What are you doing here? Man, what a nightmare! Was it you who turned on the cameras? If you hadn't, I don't know what... Thank you so much! Thank you. Let's get out of here, Trin. But you could use a drink after that. Man, I could use a drink. You know me so well. Round of blackjack, loser those shots. Ha! Sounds like a plan with no possible downside. <laughs> after you. <laughs> Apart from losing money, you know. That's a possible downside. You gonna leave your hat behind? Your mask? Kinda want that. Shit, we did it! What the fuck is the, um... Final four then. And what was the gunshot before? You found the way to protect them, Boone. Play is an unstoppable force once roused. He and his brother both. But it's Trinity who is special. Take her mask. It's her gift to you. I see. That's why we just get her mask. Butterflies. Butterflies in my eyes. Ow. Trinity's perfect hearing. Trinity's mask allows you to hear even the smallest sounds, while spying or hiding. Listen to whispered conversations or other quiet noises by using the power when the prompt appears. Additionally, you'll now be able to hear more when you listen out to your surroundings. Trinity has exceptional hearing. Her blessing is now yours. With that mask, you'll be able to find a way through the to the guest rooms. There is a girl there, who is fighting so hard against the darkness in this place. She needs your help, Boone. Thank you. And we just lost our vinyl, I assume, because we're going back in time? Yep. But I guess we can pick it up whenever. So maybe it's for a different one? I don't know. It's crazy. Oh, we're here again. Invites you to the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish you were less competent, yeah. Okay. But we got different... people who are gonna be killed? For sure. Oh, it's tutorials, is it? Okay, well we haven't checked out this side of the mansion. Suppose we should go this way. So, oh, look! Another card! The Nine of Clubs. And we can't go in here by the look of it. That's a shame. Can we go through this? No. Of course not. We're not fancy enough to walk through the red curtain. Not even close. What is this? Oh shit. I nearly clicked on that. No, 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 oh fuck, I did click on it. Yeah, let's not do that again. Let's have a look. But I can help you out and still hope you're wrong. Alright, thank you. Red is safely tucked away in the theatre. Looks like Miss Bell will... something. Ah, gentlemen, good afternoon. Enjoy your stay. 
So you're going that way, you're going that way, and murderer guy's going that way also. Okay. There we go. I say we follow the guy who isn't being followed by the murderer. So we'll go this way. Jesus, who is he? Is he a member of the robot mafia? Kinda looks like one. Okay, so maybe the uh, vinyl's for this guy. Seems to be enjoying the music and shit. Alright, well you're not doing anything. Oh, what's happening up here? I hope Willow is okay. We're only saving one person, but they're everywhere. But all that talk about voodoo, this and the creepy spirits whispering next to my room at night, it ain't right. Well, best to get to the practice room. Okay. Go another one of these. What do? Well, that looks like a dead end. At least for us. Inside the cabinet is a single piece of parchment. The plaque underneath states that this is one of the 12 missing pages from the Codex Gigas. Okay. Oh, ten of clubs. I don't know what these cards are for, but that's cool. Lost 116 pages from the original book of Lehi. Okay, there's nothing here. I don't know where the guy's going. Can I spy through that Bernie door? I assume I can't, but... Well, someone just got shot. What the hell was that noise? Yes, yes, audible yawn, sir. Exaggerated looking at my watch, sir. Now, if you'll kindly excuse me. I have to pretend I have more pressing matters to attend to. <laughs> like a situation with the chamber pots and the guest rooms, for example. Ah, fuck. That would have been the perfect time to use that extra hearing so I could hear what Cody was saying. Shitty balls. Well, now we know something. Then I would have heard the code that he said out to himself and then I would have been able to fucking... Maybe get through one of those locked doors? I don't know. Okay. Should use that hearing mechanic more, I suppose. Are you still in here? You are not. Okay. Let's grab this vinyl while we're here. Because I feel like it's going to be important for something. Okay, there's someone in there as well, I think, but we cannot go in there or even spy through that one. Okay. Alright. Show will start in one hour. This plant gives off a rich, calming scent. There's no free fakery here. Oh, there's a card in there. I'm gonna go collect all the cards. Episode's nearly done anyway, so we'll just run around collecting the cards. It's the murderer. Alright, no, looks like he's heading that way. Maybe if we just watch the murderer, we'll know who's the, uh... The victim. That'll give us something to go on. There's so many people to avoid around the house though. It's pretty hard to just get around and avoid everybody. Aha! Follow him! Obviously we can't go through this one, but we can watch. Oh shit, he's gone. Balls. Straight bo- there's a treasure chest! 
<laughs> now I know what I want more than anything. Where'd he go? Where does that door lead to? We are running out of time though, clearly. I wish I knew where this guy was. In here? Nothing in there. Alrighty, well. Looks like we've lost the guy. And I've no idea who he's trying to kill. Oh, a card. Seven of spades. A room full of items and memories that someone seems to be trying hard to forget and ignore. Door's locked. I can't open it. Well, never mind then. Who was that? I don't know who that was or where he was going. Not into it. Fuck. Someone's about to die. There's a cat up there too. Badassery. There's nothing in there. Guess we head back this way? I really should end the episode. This is fun though. It's really unique. Very unique indeed. Yeah, alright. I think we're going to die. But we've gathered some intel for the next run. So that's handy. Where did the murderer go though? My clock's on fire, I assume that means I'm running out of time. <laughs> Is that what that means? Did I save you already? Two of hearts. Nice. Table is closed, sir. Uh, the previous player has exceeded the house limit. Okay. Well. Yes, we're fucked now. I don't know where the fuck he went. No idea. Yep. Alright, that's it. It looks like it's restarting their day. But we've gathered some intel. We still don't know who got killed though. But we'll have to try and find out in the next episode because we are done for today. So yeah, it's, uh, it's very unique, very fun. I'd like to do a full playthrough but I'm not sure if I'm going to be good enough to get all the way through but I'll try. And maybe, maybe we'll cut some stuff out so that we, uh... Maybe I'll just keep doing it and then cut out some of the boring stuff while I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. I'm not sure. But we'll see what happens. See, we can watch where everybody's moving now. Which is pretty handy. We got these two. In there, and then they split up and disappear somehow. And then he's in here. Then you got him in here, of course. We got murderer here. Murderer here. I don't know how he gets there. Oh, is that the guy he's killing? No, because that. Ah, oh, I remember that conversation. Then we got murderer in here. And then the murderer in goes into this room at the bottom here, and that's where we lose him, and I don't think we see him again the entire day. Unfortunately. We got Trinity in here. Yeah. Alright, we'll have to try and figure this one out in the next episode, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.